Okay, uh, I've had a couple people ask for a tour of my Forerunner and how I live in it full time with my dog. Um, so, uh, forgive me if this video sucks. I'm not a YouTuber. Don't plan on becoming one. Um, so, yeah, here we go. I just got to a campsite. Um, you know, the important thing, the reason I do this is just wonderful, serene nature out here. It's like surprisingly green. Uh, most of where I've been in Arizona so far has not been this green, so I'm actually quite shocked by this. Um, Ruka is running around doing her thing. Uh, so we'll start on the outside. I have not said anything up yet, so this is like how I travel on a day-to-day -day basis. <gasps> what? She's trying to figure out who I'm talking to. Um, but yeah, so we'll go on the outside and in, and then I'll do another little thing and show you guys what everything looks like when it's all set up, the awning and my table and everything like that. Um, so I have traction boards here on the back that are mounted on my roof rack. Um, so I can use those. I could stick them under my tires if I lose traction in sand or snow or something like that. Uh, and they're just bungeed onto my roof rack. Um, this is a Crestone Sherpa. Oh, oh. Good girl. It's just a cow. Hi, cow. Oh, God. There's a lot of them. Hello, babies. Okay, Ruka, leave the cows. Thank you. All right, like I was saying before, the cows uh, caused Ruka to freak out. Um, I have a Crestone Sherpa rack, um, the full size one. Love this thing. Very good quality. Highly recommend. Um, just got new tires yesterday. I have the Falcon Wild Peaks. I'm super excited to use them. They're very rugged looking. I'm here for it. Uh, and then I have a body armor, Highline uh, bumper with the Smittybilt 10,000 pound winch. Um, just a random Yakima roof rack storage thing that I got off Facebook Marketplace. And then I have a 180 degree awning, uh, Overland Vehicle Systems. I love this thing also. It is very tough and has put up with a lot since I had it. Uh, I used to have a solar panel up here, so I still have the cable running. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this yet. So it's just kind of here for now. We'll see. I was thinking about maybe getting another flexible one and putting it on top of that. I don't know. Um, on the back here. My bed here, it's just a four inch trifold mattress that my window coverings underneath. Ruka's bed, I can take out and put it on the ground or whatever. Uh, this is my battery, just charged it up, so I'm at 99. It charges right now off of a cable that is connected to this outlet over here, so it just charges while I'm driving. Um, but I'm planning on getting some folding solar panels. Uh, over here I have my, I think it's called Molly panels, I don't know. Um, but it's holding all sorts of stuff, deodorant, fuzzy socks for at night music this so I can keep track of like the temperature and stuff especially for Ruka. Uh, bear spray, fire extinguisher, all that good stuff in here. I've got like a broom which I used to clean stuff with, some beauty supplies, bug spray, sunscreen, dog treats. Ruka has this little glow collar that I put on her at night so I can see her in the woods. During the day she wears a bell so I can hear where she's at. Um, that's my dresser. I've kind of got just like all of my beauty supplies. Let me climb up in here. I've uh, got all my beauty supplies and like massage gun, Q-tips, my iPad. This is my underwear and socks. Kindle, uh, battery, medication, that sort of stuff. 
And then I've got clothing in here and packing cubes. And this is pretty hard to get to, so I'd keep um, like laundry supplies and my full-size shampoo bottles and stuff in this one. Um, this is my hiking pack. I've got some string lights so I can see in here at night. Um, I only have so many of them hung up so that it's not super obvious that I'm in here at night. Um, yep, and then my bed, of course, got a Squishmallow. And there is all of my food and my fridge, and I've got my jacket and um, my backpacking stove if I want to cook while I'm like inside. I haven't used this yet, but I might when it's a little colder out. And then I've got my chair right here. I don't have a whole lot over here. I've got like a little pee funnel thing so I can pee in my car when I need to. Van life, yay. Uh, shovel so I can poop when I need to. Um, and then I've got some micro spikes. So if I'm hiking and it's icy, Ruka's got a long tie out when she doesn't want to listen. I've got my hiking poles under there. Um, uh, my slack line, I've got some recovery gear, my awning poles, uh, there's a tire repair kit. Um, this is where most of my recovery gear is because I don't obviously need it very often. Um, so I've got like all my winch accessories and stuff like that under there. Uh, and this is the platform that I built. So I just took the back seats out and built this kind of leveling platform out of plywood. Um, really simple, I have it tied to um, some of the existing like, tie-down points where the seats were, so it doesn't move around. And I just put this gym mat flooring, um, like foam mat on top of it for a little extra cushion. And in the front seat, I have my water jug. My next little project is going to be um, figuring out how to attach a water pump to this so that I don't need to like touch it. I want like a touch free thing. Um, kind of just some storage in here. Got some treats for Ruka. Uh, jackets and Ziploc baggies and stuff like that. Um, and then here's Ruka's food. I built a tiny little platform for the front seat so it's a little flatter. Easy to store stuff. <laughs> Shove my shoes everywhere. And then I've got some more storage down here for clothes and things like that. Uh, and then in the door I have flashlights on all sides. Um, some tools, scissors, measuring tape. Um, and I'll show you this roof box which made such a big difference in my life. It's not even funny. I got so much more room inside now. Really easy to get to and open. And then I keep some jackets up here, backpacking meals, my uh, tire pump, sanitizing wipes, my skis are up here, and my backpacking stuff. So obviously I have like way more storage than I need, which is kind of funny because I thought when I was starting out in this <laughs> living in my forerunner thing that I wouldn't have enough storage but I have like honestly more than I need um, which has been really great oh I also added these um, like little smoking window guards the rain guards or whatever um, so I can keep the windows cracked and no one can kind of see from the outside um, which is good for Ruka my windows are tinted 5% um, all around the back so you cannot see in at all during the day. And it's pretty hard to at night. And then I have these um, custom window coverings that go over it. So depending on what side is facing in or out, it's good at like retaining heat or um, keeping heat out. It's kind of cold at the moment. So I have it um, the shiny part on the inside. So it keeps more heat inside of the car. Um, and then I also have some other things shoved over here, <laughs> miscellaneous stuff up top at the moment. Uh, this is my table, extension cord, some spoons, stuff to clear snow off with, protein powder, propane, my stove's right there. 
just kind of stuff tucked everywhere <laughs> in my window coverings so I can keep the windows open in the summertime and not get bugs inside. Um, and then of course, all my little cuties. I was gifted this by some lovely ladies at a brewery I met in Denver. This is my little stress frog. So when I'm driving, I can squeeze them and not pick up my nails. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the whole thing. I'll show you guys once I get it set up um, what my cooking situation and stuff looks like when everything is kind of spread out um, and taken apart. It's really not much. Um, but yeah, there's the grand tour. Hope you enjoyed.